What if I told you the next big Windows update is already on your computer, just waiting for Microsoft to flip a switch? You might think a new version means a massive download, a fresh install, and a whole new operating system experience. But with Windows 11 version 25H2, Microsoft is doing something a little different, and it is fascinating. We are, of course, talking about Windows 11 version 25H2, which Microsoft just started rolling out to insiders in the release preview channel. Now, if you are an eager beaver hoping to grab a fresh ISO file for a clean install, you might want to pump the brakes. Microsoft has confirmed a delay, so those direct ISO downloads are coming soon, but not right now. It is a bit of a tease, isn't it? But here is where things get truly interesting, and a little bit clever. Unlike Windows 11 version 24H2, which brought a more substantial architectural shift, 25H2 is arriving as what Microsoft calls an Enablement Package, or EKB. Think of it like this, imagine you just bought a new car. All the latest, coolest features, maybe advanced navigation or a super efficient engine mode, are already built into the car software. They are just dormant. The Enablement Package is essentially the key that unlocks those features. It is a small download that activates capabilities already present in the system, rather than installing entirely new code. Microsoft explains that 24H2 and 25H2 actually share the same core operating system and identical system files. All the new goodies destined for 25H2 are already lurking, pre-installed, within your latest monthly quality updates for 24H2. The EKB just tells them, okay, it is showtime. This means a quicker, less disruptive transition for you requiring just a single restart to light up all the new features. It is a much more elegant way to push updates, avoiding the lengthy reinstallation process we have grown accustomed to. So, what exactly does this quiet little update bring to the table? Even as an enablement package, 25H2 introduces some welcome improvements. Microsoft has hinted at significant driver upgrades, which translates directly to smoother performance and a snappier feel on your device. We are always happy to see that, are not we? Plus, users gain a new option to finally remove some of those pre-installed Microsoft Store apps that you might never use, giving you more control over your digital real estate. And for the tech savvy among us, Microsoft is also retiring some legacy components, like PowerShell 2.0, streamlining the system further. This approach truly showcases Microsoft's evolving strategy for delivering updates. It is less about grand, sweeping overhauls, and more about continuous, intelligent refinement. So, the next time you hear about a new Windows version, you might just find it is already living on your PC, patiently waiting for its moment in the spotlight. What do you make of this enablement package approach? Do you prefer these subtle, seamless updates, or do you long for the days of major, distinct Windows versions? We want to hear your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast to stay in the loop with all the latest tech developments and join our conversation.